Well, good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a review of the Toto Bay waterproof LED headlamp. I picked this up a few days ago. It's got four modes and it comes with uh, two 18650 batteries. You just pop this little rubber backing off. Let's see if I can get it in there. Where is it? There it is. The 18650 batteries are included. There's no instructions in the box. I was going to do an open box review and didn't. But the only thing that came in the box was this and the, ad the adapters, pretty much. No real information. Um, it's a 2200 mega amps of lithium ion 18650 batteries, two of them. This is supposed to be waterproof. Probably it's more water resistant than waterproof. But I'm not going to be one to try it out in the water, <laughs> except maybe in the rain. It does have the little piece for the out where you plug it in. Sorry about the jittery camera. I got the camera on a little bendable neck thing. There's that. And if I if you see this back here, when I turn the light, we turn this light off. When I turn, it says LED headlamp or headlight. When I turn the front light on, this comes on. Go through all four strobes. You can kind of see. I think it kind of flickers. I can't tell. That's just my camera. I think it's just my camera doing that. But I have like a really faint flicker when it's on flash mode. So anytime you turn the light on, this lights up, which is kind of a good feature if you're like a bike rider and just want it for bike riding or hiking or or even for walking down the street at night, so people can see the back of your head. See you walk on the edge of the road. Um, but yeah. It's got this plastic piece here that kind of shapes your to your head. <laughs> it actually fits really nice. Um, and then the back of it kind of curves. At first, I think it was twenty-three ninety-nine or something like that. Uh, at first, I didn't know if it was going to be the greatest. But I'm really impressed with it and I'm happy with it. There's also been a few days I tried outside, tried in the house, and I could actually beam the light all the way across the field with just one light, with just the front middle light. Um, I don't know if I can focus on those little LEDs very well, but there's three LEDs in there. Well, one in the middle, then the two outer ones, but uh, they don't adjust or anything. What is this? Is that, is that loose? Ah, that's not going to be good that's loose, is it? Is that supposed to be? Oh, they unscrew. Ah. I didn't even know they did that. It was that loose. Can I turn this? Can this tighten up? Or just gonna spin? Ah, the whole thing spins. Ah. Oh. Actually, it tightens up. As I turn it, it tightened up good. I don't know why I did that. I didn't even notice that. You can just turn it and tighten it up. Make sure it still works. <laughs> All right, but let's go through the light features. I'm gonna turn this light off so you can see better. Let's see if I can do this. I gotta get my hand in there a little bit so I can. Okay, not in your way. There's the first light in the middle. That's the first center light. Now you guys probably can see that. These are the two little outer lights. There should be two of them, but if I said this just right, you can see the actual. That's two of them? Yeah, that's two of them. And then you got your three flash, I mean strobe. So one, two, Oh, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't forget where it was. It's there. Apparently, but it's there. Oh, that. I gotta turn that back up. Front lens is coming off. Let me turn that off real quick. I'm actually gonna take this off. Let me turn this on. Sometimes it's loose, anyways. I'm gonna see if it actually comes right off. While we're on video. There's the thing. There's the bulb. The LED. See if I can get a better picture of that. There we go. I didn't realize it came out like that. I didn't even try. I mean, I've only had a couple days, so 
this whole thing turns. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I don't want to break the inside of it. That would suck, right? It's a brand new light. It's probably going to be hot, isn't it? I'm going to push that back down before I break it. <laughs> I don't think that light was set and seated properly. Let's try that. It's, it's back in place. It does come out. I don't know if you can change those LEDs. I'm not sure how they operate, but they look like the side of the board, so... I didn't realize you could do that. But you can tighten it back up. Just grab a hold of them and tighten it back up. No big deal. Let me double check to make sure it's still working, right? Let's turn this light off. There's one. Two outer ones still work. That's more, they're supposed to be more separated like that. I'm kind of at an angle, so it might be right. And there's all three delights. <laughs> On the table, I can actually see the three dots better than I can see in the camera. Uh, and then you get your stroll feature. So, so far I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's, it's been a really good flash. It's been a really good headlamp. I don't know if that one comes off. It probably does, but I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, I've only had it a couple of days. And I've actually had it really use it, use it. I mean, when I, I have a dog, so when I take it outside in the backyard, because it's so dark out there, I tried it out, shot it across two yards, three yards, it hit the third yard all the way back to the tree with just the middle center light. The two outer ones don't seem to go as far but they do light it up because they're more of a floodlight. They're spread out more. And then all three, of course, that one hits it because it's got the center one. Then you got the more circular. I mean, even with this light on the camera, you can see it. If I come up, to, up high a little bit, that's the first light. The second light, you can see they're more separated. Then you got all three. So you got that big center light in the middle. But yeah, that was just a quick review. It's probably not really quick. Um, of the Toto 6000. That's what it is. It's Toto 6000. You can click on the link in the description if you want to pick one up. They're currently going for $23.99, which is a pretty good deal. And, uh, yeah, so, if you're interested in a headlamp, this is inexpensive and fairly decent one to pick up. The clicker for the tilt in the head is very stiff, which is, a, I don't know if you can hear that clicking, but, um, I can hear it. But it's very stiff, which I like. I like the idea that I can move around and I can press the button on top without worrying about it jumping down on me. Or I mean, it's really good click. I like that. They did a good job on that part. And it's not really heavy. I mean, it's, it's it kind of counterbalances itself with the weight in the back of it, with the battery pack. And what's included is, of course, the, the house the house cord, AC outlet, AC cord is included. They give you three cords with it as well. For $23.99, that's a pretty good deal. And your regular USB cord. And then they give you the one for your car, for your cigarette lighter. But, if you're looking to pick up a headlamp for a reasonably priced, dirt cheap, I consider $23.99 dirt cheap. Um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend something like this. This one. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.